Here we are. We have arrived. <sighs> a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, no portages. Yeah. Means uh, live large, right? Beautiful. This is the beach at the back end of the property. Wow, look at those colors. There's no other place I'd rather spend my birthday. Any bites? Two owls. Mm. Got one. Oh, a little guy. Oh. Little, little sunfish. There okay. you go. Good job. At least we got a fish. We're in the game. I knew it was a little sunfish. Oh, Want me to I take him off? Song. You gonna do it? Yeah, you do it. Just when you grab them, grab them, yeah. grab that way so that yeah. the, the, the spine doesn't get you. Aww. You want to kiss them? No, thank you. Come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Little sunfish. No tent to set up, no tarp to set up. <laughs> yes, it's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. We have an oven. Luxury, live in large. Yeah. Ready for coffee? So we were up here earlier this summer and we were exploring this lake and then we went down this river and water levels were really high so we were able to walk down the creek and then if we realized if we kept walking eventually we'd get to this lake. So that's our goal for today. Raga Neuter Lake. <laughs> Yeah, apparently it's a wildlife conservation or wilderness conservation. So we don't know how far we can paddle and then we're going to have to hike up here. Thank you. We made it to the other side. Yeah, we're in the calm now. I know, well, I, I was trying to, but then uh, the sideways were a little too big. Yeah. We're, well, we have to get a little shelter from this island, and then we'll take a hard left. Good workout for the arms. We're about almost halfway, right? Yeah, maybe more. Yeah. Once we get in the channel, it'll be a lot. Palmer. Yeah. Let's do this. I 
don't know how we're going to get across. So I'll just take it straight on right from here. Yeah. All right, let's just see him that way now. We'll try to walk along the rocks if we can. <laughs> no trail to this lake. Jungle. Look at this beautiful yellow birch. People have uh, walked down here. No, no sign of a trail. I don't think anyone's made a YouTube video about it. No, for sure it might not. Be the first. I'm gonna head uphill. Need to get thinner dirt. Ow! Ow! Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. Now that has thorns on it. Be careful. Maybe we want to get the canoe. I carried up all this way, though. No. <laughs> I don't think so. The creek is down there. We've climbed up the ridge just because it was way too thick down there. Whoa. Steep. Whoa. Huh. All right, your We're crossing on a beaver dam here. Hoping it's less thick on the side of the river. What do you think? Should we turn back? I feel like we have to be almost there. But if it's like another hour and we're not there. Another hour and we're not there. I agree. I think it is. That's a deer. Yeah. yeah. This old bridge. What we've discovered. Let's we'll take the bridge. Maybe we'll take it to the lake. Whoa! You think this goes to the lake, I or maybe so. to like a road? <laughs> okay, so we paddled up the river here. We parked the canoe. We've hiked this whole stretch of river. That dotted line, I think, is the trail we just. Uh, it's a little road. Yeah, that little yeah. road, the bridge. So I think we should, instead of keeping on the creek, let's just take this path on the road and then get, uh, to, the get to the lake there. Okay. Because yeah, it feels like we're going off course, which we yeah. are a little bit, but it should be easier. Yeah, easier to walk. And like I said, that could be really go. marshy. Okay. 
Why not? <laughs> Some massive giants in here. Not the most beautiful lake that I had imagined. You think this is the lake? I don't know. Maybe that is a really old map. Maybe it's just swamp now. It's uh, moose hunting season right now, and we're on clearly an ATV trail. This is Crown land, so there very likely is people out here with guns hunting moose. So also, also not the safest place to just be roaming around. So we've been on this trail for about 25 minutes and there's no sign of a lake. So um, I personally think we're going in the opposite direction. I feel really bad. I convinced Caitlin to take the trail thinking it was going to be an easier route to the water but I don't think it's going to the water. And it's almost 3 o'clock and we've got to go all the way back to our canoe and go all the way back to the cabin today. So I think the responsible thing is for us to head back. I just ran up ahead and I think that little marshland is where the trail showed it going to the water, but maybe it's uh, all dried up this time of year. I don't know. I don't think we're going to make it there. What's the verdict? It's a beautiful lake in my imagination, so I can't <laughs> see it. Are we heading back? I think so. Yeah. Darn. Sorry, darling. I okay. thought this was going to get us there. Let's find a nice spot to eat our sandwiches. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to answer some of your questions. So thank you so much for submitting a question. Um, Paul Winterstein asks, uh, cooking with fire versus a gas stove. So out on canoe trips, what do we like to cook with? You're right. We primarily cook with fire. Um, I just like the traditional aspect of it and just the romance of cooking with fire and it always tasted better. But we do cook with a gas stove um, if it is in the morning and we're rushing off and we don't want to have time to make a fire. I don't film a lot of that because it is very loud. Uh, so primarily on videos I show us cooking with fire, but if it's wet yeah. and raining, <laughs> yeah. uh, then that's primarily when we would use it or just to use it as a convenience quickly in the morning. Yeah. Or sometimes if we gotta cover a lot of ground and we don't have time to get to a campsite, yeah go collect firewood and we're just gonna get there, boil some water and do a quick um, yeah. uh, freeze dried meal. It just, yeah, the, the gas stoves are super convenient too. So we do both. Yeah, we do both. Okay, another question, kayak or canoe? <laughs> so definitely for me, it's canoe. Um, I like just the traditional aspect of it and putting, you can put way more gear in it. And I like being together. It's a team, team effort. Yeah. <laughs> Same reason for me. Yeah. All right. Uh, what I okay. What I do for work. So I <laughs> I work in the field of social work with uh, victims of domestic violence and human trafficking. So it is kind of very heavy work, and I feel like that's why I love coming out here because um, I'm able to unplug and just really disconnect, leave uh, that stress and work um, at home and come out here as kind of a form of self-care. Yeah, where well, there's no service or you can't answer, can't, yeah. there's no, when there's no phones and no internet, you can't feel responsible for sh doing something, you know, it's a, finally you get to actually Yeah, it's not in unplug. my control. Yeah. Okay, we've got quite the journey home. I think we're going to put the cameras away <laughs> and just uh, hustle and, and get at, get at it. Yeah. Get to our canoe. Put our game face on. Yeah. So we will see you at our canoe. <laughs> She's looking for leeches. She's waiting for her ride. I gotta go get her. That didn't take us very long. It was a lot longer going out than coming back. me off on this log. Ow. Ow. 
Aww. Are you okay? What a view. And you're not so bad either. <laughs> you made it. It's done. Oh, right on. Nice. Making bourbon and ginger beer. Cheers. Cheers. All right, out to the catheter. Gorgeous out here. Based on the slope of that hill up there, I feel like that's gonna be the steepest drop in the water. So we'll go we'll go head over there. We're looking for the deepest part of this lake. Little walleye. Put them back. Because I touch the fish with wet hands. <laughs> Yay! One for one. Fishing got cut short, it's starting to rain, so we're gonna head in before we get soaked. Cell phone fell right down here. Woo! Get it. We got some rice. We'll put in a bag of rice. Ha! Oh. It's a deep. Where were you? You were right. No, I was right here. Try to feel with my foot. Are you feeling the bottom? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go down and feel with my hands, I think. No, I'll take me longer. Oh, it's cold. The dock moves though. It's it's swaying, right? It could be underneath the dock right now. I got it. Woo! I got it. It's still on. <laughs> I'm just finishing my coffee and then we're going to do a few jobs around the cabin and then we are going to pack up and head out to a little island that we like to go to that's really pretty right on the water. Obviously it's an island. Um, and then we're going to cook our dinner out there. So this wooden window frame is still a little snug. Ugh. Whoa. So we're going to plane a little off the top. Ugh. This little block hanging. So that it closes it open easily. You can see down there how much I've already shaved it off. See, it needs a little more right there. So this is just a little block plane I got. I don't know, at an antique shop or something. I think I paid maybe 10 bucks for it, but it's really handy these kind of jobs. Doing windows, doing doors. Okay, the dishes are done. Now I'm gonna try to find Trustin. He is somewhere behind the cabin. 
getting uh, some firewood. He's somewhere back here. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna listen and, and try to find him. We've got some really nice wood here. This was a, a dry standing maple and the bark peeled off really easy and it's beautiful dry wood all the way through. We saw the wolf over there. It was a couple years ago. We were in the boat over there and we saw a wolf on the shore. The first time, ever, the only time we've seen a wolf in the wild. Yeah. They're out here. Good. There's a light drizzle, but under this tree, it's a nice canopy. It's completely dry. Good. Good salad. Happy birthday, dear Caitlin. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Mm. Nice job. Wow. Thank you. You got a knife? Mm-hmm. All right. right here. Mmm, that's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice move. Is that yours or mine? That better be yours. That's <laughs> mine. <laughs> okay. All right, give me the other half of the cake. <laughs> It started to rain. There's a pretty dark cloud above us. Can I sit on it? Oh, there. I always hear rain before it comes. We heard it over there on the tree line. Pardon? You're not gonna put the poncho on? I'm not gonna put it because it's in a sealed package. If I take it out, I'll never get it back in. I have to buy another one. It's not that big of a deal. You look like a camel ghost. <laughs> I'll just put on weather while it's waterproof. <laughs> best one over top. Hey, it stopped raining. I know. 
when that light's not on me, I can actually see where I'm going. <laughs> Batting my eyes on <laughs> We're just paddling into the darkness. Randomly into the darkness. All right, we've been uh, paddling for about an hour now and uh, off and on rain. We are just approaching the channel that's gonna take us into the lake that the cabin's on, so. Another uh, 45 minutes, half an hour, we'll be home. Rain's coming down a little bit harder. We're going through the channel. Thankfully, we're in a canoe because we can stay on the top surface of the water because it's pretty shallow through here. We we're passing a cabin and there's little solar lights lighting up the way. Um, it's right on a sharp turn, but we know where we're going. Okay, we made it out of the channel and now we're just in the big lake. Our cabin is at the end of this lake. I do not recommend paddling at night, but uh, we know these waters inside and out, so we're gonna be okay. Okay, we made it just in time. You can hear thunder rolling in. So we paddled pretty hard. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh. Now it looks pretty dark on camera, but to the naked eye, I can still see fairly well. We mixed a little coconut milk in this Bailey's bottle, so we're not drinking it <laughs> quite as stiff as it looks. Happy birthday, darling. Thank you. Yes, that's right. It's Caitlin's birthday, and she chose to go fishing. I am definitely the luckiest man in the world. Happy birthday! Yeah. Happy birthday, darling. Thank you. We're off. Great birthday weekend, wasn't it, Kayla? Yes, it was. Felt like my birthday was so fun.